40 foot shipping container is the best hay storage money can buy. So we bought this shipping container pre-COVID for about 2,500 bucks. I think is what it was, 2,800, somewhere in there, less than 3,000. We can fit about 350 to 380 bales of hay. One of the nice things is our hay shipper will sometimes ship us our hay in these big bundles that are 21 bales all bundled together. I'm gonna to show you that right now. There it is right there. That's 21 bales of hay, not including the crap on the top. We can move it all at once with the pallet and the pitch. I don't know why he even has the pallet on. Oh, he tried to pallet it, okay. And he's gonna move it up. He's gonna move it up to that barn right there just to get it out of the hay barn here. So we're trying to empty the hay barn to order new hay for the season. It's now August 15th at the time of viewing. We have a little bit of hay left. We have a couple different kinds. That hay he's taking is the quality, really good stuff, like super heavy bales. Expensive, but to be honest, worth it. It's almost two bales in one. We get more hay compact in here. So our local hay guy, great guy down the road, sells us hay, you know, $5 a bale or whatever. 550 delivered, something like that. But it's really loose and light, let me show you. So in here, hi Quinny Quinn Quinn, we have pallets on the floor, which we lay down as we load up. We have a couple pieces of wood that we were saving from a construction project. This here is actually first cut hay here. And then we move into, right here there's an empty spot because we've been pulling all the hay out. And then that second cut hay from the local farmer, but very loose, it blows up, it breaks apart. We still use all this on the floor, but the strings are sh extremely loose. And the bales are super light. The bales are very light, but five bucks a bale delivered second cut is good. The other stuff is $11 a bale delivered. So it's double the price, but we can fit a lot more hay in here going with that kind of hay. Volume wise, weight wise, we can fit a lot. He went to the wrong barn. Uh, let's find out from mom. We're gonna find out from mom which barn she wants this hay in. Okay, we talked to mom. It's going in Cassie's castle. It's the good stuff. It's the heavy stuff. It's going in Cassie's castle. That, that's where it's going, in the big goat barn where we just were. So like I said, great hay storage. I know you guys don't care about Cassie's castle and all that goat stuff. Well the village does and if you want to be a part of the village subscribe that's all you got to do you could become a member and get close-up stuff on our other channel which i'll link up here somewhere that's our live this barn this one is live 24 7. that barn way over there is live most of the time we have under uh, outdoor cameras indoor cameras feel free to join that membership if you'd like as little as like five dollars a month and you get close up i think just look at the thing and he's dropping hay he needs my help, but the best hay storage pretty much money can buy. He's dropping some, he's, you good, you, you're gonna have to put, stop, stop. You're dropping hay everywhere. We're running over hay bales now. Uh, yeah, just put it down. We're gonna take it apart here. Yeah, just put it down. Yeah, put it down, he blew it up. The pallet broke. The hay, we're just gonna put it, take it apart here. I don't want them running over all those hay bales. Okay, so now that we moved to most of the hay, we still have more that's gonna go back to the other barn that way. We wanna weigh these and see the actual difference. So I'm gonna start with the older, lighter, local bale first. Let's start with that. Actually, I'm gonna start with my own body weight first. Get that, let's get our number. 205, 205. Down, right, super loose. Two thirty-seven point eight. So that's thirty-two pounds. Thirty-two pounds. Oh, interesting. 
247. It's only 10 pounds more. So that's a 42 pound bale, roughly, right? 247 minus 205. Yeah, 42 pounds, 32 pounds. So we're getting an extra 10 pounds, but we're paying an extra $5 for it. So now the challenge here is we can look at the size difference. Look at the volume difference. Now you look at this. That's the challenge right there. Much smaller, much bigger. I can fit less of those. I can fit a lot more of those. So not only are they more weight, they're also tighter compact, but they do cost a lot more money and they're technically better quality hay. So I think we're gonna stick with those and use them, not do much of the local, local guy if we run out and need something in a pinch, but our bulk orders are gonna go with the big guy. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Now you know how much I weigh and uh, stick around, join the village. See you in the next video. If I survive this heat, you bringing all that to house supply? By the way, there's only 10 pounds more. These are about 45 pounds of bale. Well, at least this one. And the other ones are only 30. One thing you do have to do before I get too far. It's super fast. You buy a shipping container, put down some crushed stone, drop it off in your store and hey, but you need to vent it. Let me show you the vents before we leave because that's very valuable.